This is an Alpha 50, believed to have been made in the early 1960s in Spain. The design of the Alpha 50 is based on the Singer 15, as were many sewing machines at the time. These became known as Singer 15 clones. While the casting is of a more modern appearance, the mechanics are basically the same. The machine came with a comprehensive and well illustrated user manual, although if you're familiar with the Singer 15, you can get up and running straight away. The machine takes standard class 15 bobbins, which is held in a removable bobbin case. Slide the bobbin cover plate back and pull the bobbin case latch to release it from the mounting pin. The bobbin is released when you let go of the latch. To wind a bobbin, release the stop motion knob to stop the needle bar moving while winding the bobbin. Place a spool of thread on the lower thread pin and pass the thread around the guide and through the hole in the bobbin, threading from inside to out. Place the bobbin on the winder, ensuring that the pin on the spindle goes into the slot in the bobbin. Run the machine slowly to wind the bobbin. After a few turns, snip off the excess thread. Fill the bobbin until you think you've enough for the project, or allow the bobbin to fill completely, when the winder will automatically shut off. Place the bobbin into the holder with the thread coming off in a clockwise direction. And while holding the latch, place back into the machine. Close the bobbin cover plate. To thread the machine, lift the presser foot and make sure the balance wheel is turned so the take up lever is at its highest point. Place a spool of thread on the top spool pin. This is retractable for storage. Pass the thread over the rear thread guide, down behind the tension discs and up over the tension thread guard and into the tension spring. Pass the thread through the hole in the take-up lever from back to front. Then the thread guide at the lower front of the face plate. Finally, through the thread guide on the needle bar. The needle is inserted with the flat side to the left, and so you thread the needle from right to left. While holding the needle thread, turn the balance wheel towards you to draw up the bobbin thread. And position both threads under the presser foot to the rear of the machine. Insert the fabric to be sewn and drop the presser foot. Hold onto the thread tails while you make the first couple of stitches. The Alpha 50 has a stitch length lever with reverse function and just like with the Singer machines, there's an adjustable gate to limit the stitch length so you can switch between forward and reverse and back again, keeping the original stitch length. The Alpha 50 is sturdily built and engineered to a high standard. Finished in this fetching shade of blue, it makes a desirable machine for any vintage sewing machine fan. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like and check to see if you've subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching.